Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Story Break, the Writer's Room podcast, where three Hollywood pros have one hour to turn a humble idea into a cinematic masterpiece. Will we succeed? Will we fail? Hopefully more successes than fails, and hopefully eventually we get paid for this. I am your host and world's greatest desktop photographer, Freddie Wong. I'm Will Campos. I'm a writer. I am Matthew Arnold, Coke Zero Lover First, Writer Director Second. <laughs> Matt, I, I remember last week uh, we got the new Coke Zero in, and Matt stormed into the the main sort of bullpen, right to me. And he says, "Freddie, have you tried this shit? <laughs> you didn't, you're not a fan. I'm not a fan. I got no other choice. It's it is it's, what it is. If the this- dealer changes the formula, you." St- Still take that hit. It is what it is. Sorry, that's a, this sorry is a real to start downer the, of an opening. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I didn't, sorry to start I'm this sorry episode on such a downer with all the things going on. This is clearly the most horrible. So uh, okay, okay, here we go. We have uh, a very good idea. This, this week week's very story: about. box office records shattered by a horror movie, and we got a call uh, uh, from from a fly by night publisher who wants us to sort of capitalize on that. So this week, Stephen King's It, but more specifically. Stephen S T E V E N King Stephen King's and it's not I it's not it it's I T so it's a horror movie set about in, set in a I T environment. So essentially, a studio called and said, "Hey, you guys are fucking dorks. Make yes. Stephen King's It, but for dorks." No, so. it's it's because people are clearly flipping hard for movies called It, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the exactly. lesson to take away okay. from this. One hundred percent. Movies named It do well at well, the box office because, because the data why. supports that. Because here's why they market hundred percent. A hundred percent of movies named It that have gone to the box <laughs> office have done extremely well. So it's time we got in on this. And to be clear, the reason why very simple they market themselves, Matt. Right. So when yeah. and, everyone and, goes, "Have you seen it?" and then you go, "What?" and they go, "It." And exactly. you go, "Shit, I got to see that, that movie." And that and that and that works in any context of needing to see something. Did you like it? What did you like? Well, of course, the movie that we are all talking did about. Did any of us see it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Nope. <laughs> Cameron saw it. <laughs> Cameron, what do you think of it? A soul hand in the back. It's really good. Cameron All says right. it's really good. Okay, here we go. Stephen King's eyebrows. IT, right. a horror movie, which we've never done before, which we which is kind of a little I'm bit outside. I'm excited to do a horror movie because I think we'll be very bad at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm ex- not I, a horror guy. We crushed it so hard on Flow last week that I'm ready to just shit the bed on one again. So <laughs> tonight on Story All Break, right. a spooky tale to chill you to your bones. So let's get down to the, the brass tacks here. What is, what is, okay, real quick, well, what is me, just scary? Well, before we do that, okay. I have an embarrassing question to ask. Okay. What does IT stand? for information technology i'm gonna write that down okay will is going uh, analog this i week, thought it was like internet things <laughs> <laughs> in for internet things the, to the two scariest <laughs> words information and technology okay so i mean right away what is that scary for to me this is like well here's the thing i was gonna bring up was that this is also a hot topic right now. There's a lot of, there's been a ton a of, of hacks. horror movies. There's been a lot of A ton of too. horror movies about befriending somebody on Facebook or trying to crack the, the computer in the same way that the ring cracked the television set or whatever. This, there's about 40 probably indie horror movies we could point out right now that are like, somebody goes on Facebook or whatever. I think the challenge of this is going to be, <laughs> the challenge of this is going to be like, this this has to be either about an IT guy or people in an IT department. So probably a low budget, like single location lo- type like office type of location. Yeah, I mean the, the name of the movie is IT, so it's going to be about IT. Okay, so man, um, okay, real quick, just off the top of my head, really quick, IT guy. All the information that you do at work flows through the IT department, right? They handle yeah. all the internet. So you have a serial killer IT guy who knows everybody's secrets because everyone's secretly on Facebook on site. He knows all the sort of interconnected things, and he locks the place down, and he's like gonna kill them one by one unless you know, like Saw style. Like that's an easy, that's an easy. Saw softball version of that right away right or one of the things i was i would even bring up is like um you're often the guys who stay really late oh that's right and you're often like in the basement or you're separated from everybody else and everybody else goes home and you're still kind of working in an empty office like going through people's data and information and fixing problems fixing problems and stuff like that so there's something kind of like lonely and separate and isolated isolated and um so something like you know in the corporate world like whether or not that's like the victim or Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the serial killer but i I could also see kind of like a rear window-esque like this it guy is the person seeing what other people aren't seeing yeah like a kind of creepy pasta-esque kind of thing yeah 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 in like a massive like 
corporate. Um, well, so uh, to, to speak really quickly to what you were talking about, Matt, with the, with the corporate malfeasance, the only thing that I'm a little bit sort of wary about that is like it feels like if it's a core, right? Like it, it only, I think horror works better when it's on an individualized level. The moment that it's like you bring in like, and this evil company, you get like the Resident Evil movies. Or you I wasn't thinking like, it was an evil I mean? company. Like, I was thinking it was like a guy, he just works in the company. So right. like he's seeing. I'm, I'm a babe in the woods, not just when it comes to horror, but when it comes to IT as well. Mm. I feel like you guys worked at, uh, what yeah, was so the I mean, place you guys were, worked at USC? The IMS. IMS. Like you're, I, know, like I know that's AV not, club. I know it's not, it's a little closer to IT yeah, than yeah. this kind of stuff I've done. Like again, like you guys worked at a video game company. I guess I don't really, I'm trying to even like get like, again, like I get what you would do with like a movie about a doctor. Because yeah, a doctor, right. like, it's like, oh, he treats sick people. Like, what is a problem? Again, in terms of, like, some, it's just, again, like, uh, aliens, right? An alien, right. it's their space truckers. Yeah. They receive this distress signal, and they pick up this thing. Like, even, like, in terms of a conceit of, like, well, how would an IT well, person so infor- stumble into something well, so, weird? so what it is is it's information, and it's secrets, right? It's uh, Which is why when you said rear window, it kind of clicked a little bit. Because that is, in a weird way, like, the equivalent of sitting in your apartment and staring and speaking at what everyone's doing. You can do that. Like, an IT guy can sit there and remote into everyone's computers in the office and see exactly what yeah, they're I mean, browsing, it's kind of like right? if you have a CFO or financial guy like theoretically he could steal all your money like in the same way like somebody the people in IT do have all the passwords more or less like well I mean you see an IT crowd Mm-hmm. Like it's comedy, but that's essentially that is a pretty good view of they live there downstairs. Like they get caught up when they people I need think, help technology. I think wise. it's you. You do it like the cable guy, where the IT guy. Like, is the killer? Because the IT, well, no, and it's mm. you would do like almost like I could see a one on one. It's like the IT guy as the old witch that puts a curse on you. Uh-huh. Do you oh, know what I mean? Interesting. Like yeah, that yeah. again. It's still thinking about this Equifax thing that just happened. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like again, like I, I'm still, I'm like too scared to even look to see if my social security <laughs> number got stolen because I'm so fucking terrified that I'm like, I don't know, like I'm fucked if they just yeah. like it's just hackers have the 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 base like they yeah, just yeah. could steal anyone's identity now, right? So like the idea of especially because I think mm. of like. I remember I was working at uh, one of my first internships was at Cartoon Network, and they sent me down to the mailroom to send something out, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I just wandered into this strange mailroom and just started trying to put something together, and then, like, the mailroom guy came out and yelled at me, and he was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Like, like let me oh, do cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was irritated, and I was like, it was like, I was like, I've, tr- I've wandered into someone's space. Like, I've yeah. wandered into this sacred space. This guy clearly, like, like he had his, it was his own little world. Yeah. Like, it was his own, not little, I don't want to be condescending. It was his own thing. It, there were all these arcane rituals to the mailroom that I didn't understand, and I was blundering like a transgressor into this space that was not mine and belonged to someone else and I irritated this denizen of that space and I could see doing something and again like again just to put this out there because I just feel guilty no all IT guys suck (laughs) what I'm trying to get at is that there are those kind of differences like there are those kind of spaces again like you see the constant thing like IT guys do get shit on the places that fix my computer fix my life I was just asking Danny how to update my fucking phone so that I can download well you also don't often understand like the scope as you said the scope of their work so you just end up asking them stuff that's like either way below their pay grade or like not their job at all you're like hey can you just like fix like like my car's not working like you just like fix my car or like help me out here because people don't really have a good understanding of even what that entails right so to me it would be like this normal office worker runs afoul of the IT department and commits some sin that denigrates them. And then you play the IT department as this, it's almost like a paranoid, almost like the conversation or like a corporate thriller or something like that. But now it's like, again, the question is like, how hard, if an IT guy would like. Wanted to fuck with If you. an IT guy wanted to fuck up your entire oh, life. Oh, they would completely yeah. fuck They could your... end your Well, ass. when you said stealing yeah, identity, yeah. I like yeah. that because that's obviously relevant. It's also becoming more and more of a fear. Um, you know what's cool, by the way? I like the idea that it's like the sin is almost one that almost anyone could make. Right. In my head, it was like someone sent there and they're like, oh, they like, t- they open. Into PDF, and it's like you let a virus in. You didn't scan this, and it's like, oh shit, I'm sorry, but it's like now I'm ending your ass. Like doing a transgression that, like, I think she has to. Uh, yeah, I think it's whoever it is. They oh, they also have to fundamentally, like, again, like one of the like oh, you disrespect know, the, disrespect them again. Like in the, yeah, like it's got to be like there's got to be they ha- they have to do something that uh, yeah, again, which is crosses like, a sort of line. Which feels like it needs to be like maybe bigger corporate environment a little bit, just because like small startup feels a little too well. Maybe a small startup. Could no, work it should too. be a big. It, 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 big because it's, it's, it's also it's, the anonymous. There's the, the IT department. Oh, this yeah, new yeah, character yeah. will be coming into this big yeah. corporation, and the IT department could be. Um, um, again, it's also like you can't just – I don't think you can just have it like them 
going after this one person. But like I could see like stuff starts happening. Like somebody commits suicide. It feels like the IT people should be almost like rebelling against the farmers. Just like you see how the sausage is made and you just is like, I'm helping a big company that just kind of does bullshit. Like kind of just like steals money from people and doesn't make anything of value. And it kind of sucked. And I was good at my job and I made pretty good money, but I was kind of done just like, helping this big corporation do nothing like of useful in the world. So like, I wonder if you can do again, cause you also want the bad guy to have this like truth to a degree that it's like, it's the wrong, you know, representation of it. But like, it's, it's scary because you're almost like, I could be that person <laughs> or like, or there's a correct, like, like, you know, again, I'm, the classic is like, as shitty as it is, the classic slasher is like, you should be a virgin and be pure. Like, that's why this person kills you. Like, there should be an element of, like, this IT department is I think fighting to, against... Yeah, yeah, although I would still focus that... I think you can still, it's still going to be more compelling focused on one person. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, but, like, there's there are other murders me. happen and stuff. Like, I would... No, but just to... Just, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but just to, Like, but again, the, the movie I am most thinking of is Drag Me to Hell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where it is... Her life is being affected yes. tangibly because this curse is happening. Yes. Her, right? And that affects the other people in her life. Yeah. Other people get ripped to shreds because of it. Other people might even die because yeah. of it. But it's all compounded on this person, right? right? So like the first thing that leaped out to me if you were to do a company, it would be something like you're like that, where you would do that this person in this corporate structure is embezzling money or they are turning a blind eye to something that is causing a lot of pain. And now it's like the IT department is coming for them. Yeah, and they're gonna yeah, expose yeah. The, all of these sins and they're gonna you know, like their whole life is gonna crumble around them, so to speak. Drag Me um, to Hell is good. The one of the things I love most about Drag Me to Hell is Which by the is, way, Sam Raimi, if you haven't seen it, is fantastic. Yeah, but one of the best things I about I think Sam the, Raimi has seen that movie. <laughs> Sam, if you're listening, <laughs> Sam, Sam if you're you listening, you should watch your movie. Good watch for you. Movie, just watch man. it again um, and enjoy it as much as you can as an audience um, member. Also, I'm taking another sip. Sorry, I was grumpy at the beginning. Just I'm so I'm jacked up with this Coca Cola Zero Sugar. Fuck you, Coca Cola. Okay, no, I was Check say, that one off the list of sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Does Coke sponsor podcasts? Well, not this one. Um, one of the things about Drag Me to Hell that I love, the reason that's so good and like why you can identify with her is like she's not the one who embezzles. In fact, they, he does all this work. I mean, there's a reason he picks, I forget her name now, she'd be doing more stuff. Alison Lohman? Yeah, but yeah. she's like this like perfect girl next door look who seems very like approachable and easy and she's nice and like she's kind to the person she's kind to the 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 woman across the counter and she tries to do her best but she what her sin is she doesn't she doesn't like go far enough to do the good things not that she does yeah it's the, bad. the structure she's a, in, the, in the, so in the movie she plays like a bank loan officer because you she, identify with her you don't sit there and be like like again if you do something embezzling you're like well no, i want to embezzle it's like no it's like how about this person just sees somebody embezzling and doesn't say something? Well, okay, like her, so her sin is essentially not doing well, no, actively doing good. No, her because the way it works is the gypsy comes up to her and she yeah. needs a loan, and yeah. then so she and the goes to, to save her house. The loan is to save yeah. her house. She goes up to her boss, who she's trying to get a promotion from, and yeah. the boss says, I don't know, it's your call. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. I'll be watching what your decision is, yeah, but it's I mean, your yes, call. Yes. And then she chooses... She puts herself beyond, above this above person. Above this person, Because it's yeah. pretty much implied like you're not going to get a promotion if you do it. Yeah, yeah. Way. I mean, there's a threat hanging yeah, over yeah. her head, but it's a definite her or me type thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true, uh, that's So true. the... Again, it's like it's something. Again, what's scary about it is it is also something we could all see ourselves doing. Well, yeah, it's I mean a, that's, that's kind of like where I was fairly, getting at. She it's has a, plenty of ways to rationalize. It. It's like you got bad credit, you you know defaulted on your yeah. last loan. Like there's X, Y, and Z. Well, the guy's literally saying he shouldn't. She shouldn't get a loan. But it's like you have this guy. You have one guy threatening your promotion, and yeah. you have another woman literally on her hands and knees begging you yeah. for help, and you choose to essentially. Yeah. not help this person. And yeah. then it causes all these complications for your life. Yeah. Which is masterfully done. Well, they do a lot about it, right? No, like, they do yeah. a lot of nice stuff because they also show that like she's tried to change her accent and she's worked really hard. Again, she's almost like the quintessential like hardworking American. Like it's not like Yeah, she's a she's a girl from the she's Midwest. She's not privileged. She's worked really hard to get here. She's done a good job. She's, she's like, dieted she's to change her nice. weight. Like they yeah. even have a yeah, very yeah, yeah. beautiful shot where just a second she looks at she lingers on some baked goods and then moves on and then you find out like, oh that's like totally a little tiny character thing. But she's this reinventing trying to be this thing but then yeah. at the end she, she's getting punished for the decision that she makes there okay, okay so we've got it as the monolithic evil which force. by the way i just want to point is a out. cautionary fable for the modern corporate world in a weird way they are the people who hold the corrective keys to the kingdom so to speak they have that they have that power over you by the way i love the idea visually i just want to just in my head like the idea of like putting a horror movie in a incredibly like sparsely and barren lit like fluorescent environment where it's like someone died we need to have a moment of silence in the break room and it's like yeah. just super sterile is incredible to Maybe me. Maybe this is dumb, but just what if it's like a 
uh, office party, right? Because you can also do kind of fun of like it's like one of her first days and it ends up being like somebody's going away party. Like, I remember when I was at Disney, like one of the most awkward things is that like, you're there for like three days and there was like a big like promotion party for somebody. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah, now all of a sudden I'm thrown yeah. into like yeah, and everybody knows each other. Like oh my god, we're so sad you're leaving five years. And all of a sudden yeah, I'm like I just hey, got I'm here. New. I just got here. But something funny happens. And she happens to have recorded it. Like somebody's like watches the video on the phone and they're like, holy shit, that's so funny. It's like, here's a chance, like she could put it up on, like she could spread around the office and like, every, you know, she's the girl who has this like funny video or something that happened. It's like the IT guy like tripped and put his face in a cake or some stupid shit like that. She puts it up on YouTube or whatever, or goes around the well, office. She shares it, you know, she shares it on Facebook just with her friends. And then, then it like clicks and goes viral. And, that's and like, then oh, everybody God. knows her now. And she's kind of like, she becomes, it's like, she's funny or whatever it is. But of course, like this guy's she even humiliated. Gets, she even gets, Think pulled it's like in, she gets pulled in into way. HR and they're like, you shouldn't have done that. It's pretty but it's funny. Really funny. It's pretty good. Like, <laughs> it's listen, we'll, funny. we'll over, like, you know, I know what's out. It's a cat's out of the bag, but you know, please don't do that. But it's pretty yeah. hilarious. And she's like, oh, okay. okay all right. It's I'm like, a, it's a, it's a modern transgression. Yeah. yeah no, no, no. I think I say it could work. I'm trying to think of like the, just kind of scaling back for a second. Like you have the villain, you have the IT department, right? And I like that it is this anonymous monolithic force yeah. and like i feel um, like the person who runs afoul of it should be hr mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know what i mean like because they're like i'm a good person i'm human relations yeah, yeah. i relate to people like it's like in office space like i'm a people person what's wrong with you it'd be like somebody has a complaint against it for yeah. human relations oh, like an and then she writes complaint. them up and yeah. they get they don't get like a promotion or something or whatever it is mm -hmm. um Okay, I could see something like that. That's good, too, because then oh, you do, it, it's this, like, again, because it, it would be, like, the number two in HR who yeah, just yeah. moved here, and he or she, they're idealistic, they're, you know, like, they want to change the way American, you know, the, 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 the way the corporatocracy works, do you know what I mean? And it's, like, this thing where it's, like, I'm going to fucking, like, these guys can't fucking get away with this. They yeah. fucking bullied this person or something like that. They're or doing they something posted wrong. the video and then, of... Some yeah. guy, right? And then the uh, the boss is like, don't fuck with IT. Like, the head HR yeah. guy oh, is that's like, really don't, cool. don't do it. Don't mess with those guys. Like, trust me. And then this person starts digging, and then, like, they run afoul of the IT department, and now the IT department has made it their life to destroy, made it their life's purpose to destroy. Well, them. again, you would see kind of the, um, again, in the same way that the ugliness that comes out of her character in Dragon Me to Hell has this, like, she does have this, like, I it is kind of entitlement. Like she worked hard for this, so she deserves it, right? Mm -hmm. I could see something like the ugly side, like HR. Is it gets to a point where they're like, "IT's gonna fuck with me." Are you kidding me? Like I'm HR. Like I keep this place together. Like, like a company's run on people. Like I'm the exactly. I'm the people person. Like, yeah. like I know everybody's secrets. Like I know who doesn't like who. Like IT can't screw with me. Like who are you to freaking come after me? Oh but, yeah. But I think one of the horrors of the modern age. It is like my parents' house was was robbed, and then um, one of our editors had his identity stolen. And again, the thing you I got from both those people more than anything, more than like the stuff being lost, it feels like this violation. Yeah. And yeah. not to like equate it crassly to like sexual assault or anything like that, but like the terminology they often use is so similar because you just feel violated. Like somebody mm. took you. It wasn't so much like my parents lost like jewelry and stuff. It's like, you know, it's stuff. It's like somebody was in their home, yeah. you know, that yeah. wasn't Touching invited. and rooting through Going their through space. their secrets yeah. and stuff like that. And when somebody takes your identity, it's like they're they're you. It's less that like they bought a boat. It's like that they're you buying a boat. I mean, obviously them buying a boat right, right. sucks. But I think the idea of being blamed for stuff that you don't do, right? Like nothing worse. Like the, the equivalent is elementary school. It's like uh, yeah, there's nothing worse yeah. than somebody else farting and be like, you farted. And then everybody laughs at you <laughs> farting. You're like, shit. Like there's nothing you can do, right? It's yeah. over. <laughs> You're stuck. You're the farter. Now I love. Um, are we getting a little inside the Matt's elementary? No, this is a common thing we've had in a lot of our. I was probably the person who would point at somebody else to say they farted. You farted. I was a shitty kid. But right, so like this HR person, especially this person who's known as like the therapist of the office. And again, the, if the IT guy was smart, he wouldn't just destroy your life right away. It'd be like some stupid joke gets passed around the office that's from her email address. And all of a sudden, people are complaining to her about her inappropriate joke. Mm -hmm. And she starts losing credibility. She starts being the problem. I like, mean, like, going all the way up to, again, it's like these guys, again, it's like they, I mean, they put child porn on her. No, computer. absolutely. It would start they, going farther they, and farther. She sent, like, a like a sexy pic to her boyfriend, and suddenly that's getting sp yep. bounced around the office. It's like the... Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and again, it's like the more she protests, the crazier she looks. Yeah. Because feeling, people thinking you're crazy is a horrible feeling. Right. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like again. I mean, a lot of thrillers do that. It's a, it's a classic genre of somebody was on the plane and they're gone, and you try and tell everybody, and everybody thinks you're crazy or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Those movies often fall apart. Like, <laughs> there, so I'm trying to figure out what happened. That Gone Girl, right? Is pretty much everyone thinks he did it, but yeah, he, you know, right? Okay. And then weird way, by the way, just to speak to that problem of falling apart halfway through, Gone Girl fixes that by putting a major plot revelation halfway mm -hmm. through. Now, here's the thing: Are we doing like a thriller, or are we doing like a 
fucking horror movie. Yeah, because the um, rules of the way a horror movie ends is very specific, right? Like compared to a thriller, where it's like, even like psychological horror movies have body counts. Like the Exorcist yeah. kills a bunch of people. <laughs> it's true. It's like it's not just watching a crazy. No, I think people girl. need to die. People do um, need to die. Do you? Is there a supernatural element going on? Mm-hmm. Do you? Do I think. That I don't think. That, here's the thing. I don't think there is. But to the layperson, it sure as hell feels like a supernatural. Like, right? Like, the, I, I would argue. I would contend that a lot of the ways that technology is able to fuck with you these days it has a supernatural element. Well, right. To the judge's technology you don't understand is magic. And right. So you don't know what I think I was right like if you're in this giant he's a corporate magician, building right? he's like a wizard the computers yeah. are doing shit and the lights are turning off like it's gonna feel supernatural to to this person no but i'm like could you do there is also like these it guys are like into some satanic i mean i have no problem with this like with third stuff. act level like you go down to the actual it room and there's yeah, an it room under the it room and it's yeah, like the pentagrams, pentagrams and of computers <laughs> coils of rj45 <laughs> in the pentagram yes yeah. led um, candles their god is data <laughs> technology here or whatever it is oh yeah you do like like <laughs> shodan from system shock or whatever there's like, a rogue ai they've been harboring and worshiping in the I, in the basement like they're of gonna these da- they're gonna you they're gonna try to like jack her into the internet or something like that like oh, could you do like she find of- out okay wait does she find out that like an old it guy wait this person was never fired and they can't find out and it is like this old it guy the original it guy that's now like a fucking cyborg <laughs> like it's i do like actually matrix level like like he, so that think, he so controls that- the building <laughs> cronenberg body horror stuff <laughs> so would that be real, like a video drum type so thing what's kind of cool really about good. that so just to, just to be clear there's a little bit of weird like real life things i remember there's stuff that went around in like it forum stuff where they talked about there's like i think it was like a you university that had a computer a server that they never could find like yeah. physically disappeared but was clearly had like been walled over because of yeah. like renovations but had never been turned off so there was stuff where it was like there's a computer system that like files were there and they nobody knew so, where the actual server was okay so it's like it's like this is like the corporate office of like a walmart like this massive company right yeah mm-hmm. it gotta be so huge. it's like so you know it's like a 40-story building and these you know seven thousand people are running a business you know with eighty thousand hundreds of thousands of employees all over the globe, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, they're like, do you understand how much data that is? And this guy was, again, the pressures of being the IT guy, not letting a single decimal point go away. It got to a point where essentially he became the computer itself at a certain point. And the IT guys understand the sacrifice IT makes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of who this body horror IT I'm guy I'm also is. thinking, again, like Equifax. Well, actually, Equifax would be a pretty good like kind uh-huh. of company, like a credit monitoring company or something yeah. like that. Like yeah, like that it's so just, dry, so but so so dry, but so catastrophic yeah, and yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Like that wheels. Or again, like you think about like again, like those. Like again, imagine like as far as like a Jason Voorhees origin story, like mm-hmm. and this guy goes crazy and kills himself or something like that. Mm-hmm. But now his ghost is in the machine or whatever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> or he killed himself and then again the people were there and they couldn't let him die and they plugged him into the machine. <laughs> I don't know. Are he, we doing a guy's plugged in? The machine or not? Holy <laughs> shit! I remember, I, will, I like the mystery too. I like. I, will, I just to throw this you... out there because this is. I also I have. Well, I used to take stand up classes and I remember talking to like just sort of like a warm up exercise talking to my stand up professor. Uh, this uh, hilarious LA comedian Adam Barnhart. I remember telling Adam like I was like, did you hear about like this? Like the Apple has more cash assets mm-hmm. than like some small countries, yeah. right? Just cash. And then he's like, he just to me, he's like, those guys got a fucking dude running around in a maze somewhere. You just know it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just that I'm like, yeah, like that Google, like there's just a guy in a maze somewhere at Google. Like it wouldn't surprise you to find out. Yeah. Like they've got just some fucking people in mazes, dude. Like you don't know. <laughs> but like the idea that you would do again, if it was like this big, like a Walmart or an Equifax or whatever, you would do like, because again, like I, one of the things that always that strikes me is that like no one understands the code, but the IT guy. That it is, it's math, but it's like also a language, but it is also like even other code people can look at somebody's code and be like, this is incomprehensible. Or it'll take us, it'll works. take us a year to so unpack. This. Imagine you have this billion trillion dollar company, right? And they got started way back in the seventies or whatever, and the IT guy was this fucking weirdo and he wrote this code that was incomprehensible but that code is the bedrock of their entire shit yeah. right no one could possibly understand it but him and then he's dying or he like again like he tries to kill himself or like the code drives him insane yeah. but yeah it would be like they refuse to let him die and his like decrepit mutilated body is jacked into the system of this thing and then all of the other IT guys are like cultists they get indoctrinated with the secret they literally need people's brain matter 
to like his his brain is just constantly saying, decaying, and they have to like juice it with new brain or something like so that. Okay, we dope. can't do anything. Yeah, because I think you need like that inherent mystery at the beginning. It's like obviously people who are bad get fired, but like she starts realizing, especially as HR, it's like the really smart, like the best of the best. Where do they go? Like they like like she can't find. Oh, you them know what either. is? They she keeps find. she keeps seeing like there's guys. There's like a brain drain. Oh, problem. oh, the I best think. the best. The IT guys take the computer. The company is run like literally, like they like Matrix style harvest the best and brightest. <laughs> They run the company for the machine. I was gonna say uh-huh. you do the because HR is in charge of firing people. Yeah, exactly. And her right. boss at HR is in on this shit with the yep. IT guys. Well, and yeah. he sends it's like an avatar when people get sent to Lake Lao guy yeah. <laughs> and they just disappear. Like you yeah. would do this thing, like people that get like oh, or they they get sent to like like a, they get promoted is what yeah. you do, and they get when they get promoted, then their shit gets fucking harvested and then made part of this hideous this is turning into Bob from Dimension 404 yeah. a little bit, but like <laughs> this amorph yeah, because it's she goes like, downstairs and it's like, and again, if she found the layer, it'd be like that scene in Minority Report or The Matrix. It's like the people are, st- are they're all hooked up. The computers, the machines are run by the this. best and brightest of this company. Um, and that's like that's the also, ultimate. by the way, also, and like, then of course, you go to like the CEO, he's like, How the fuck do you think Walmart runs? Well, and again, it's, it's like, like <laughs> it's like do you really think that the they, do you really think delivering food to the entire world at an affordable price is not worth these forty lives of people who want to do it anyways? It's like you know, it's like they they only take people who are only there for the company corporate culture in the first place. Well, it also gets you to this um, Snowpiercer esque thing, right? Yeah. Where they're like, again, it's Visa, right? And they're like, do you understand <laughs> what would happen to the U.S. economy if Visa just crushed, like just <laughs> yeah. collapsed overnight? Like you're talking about like a cat a cataclysm. <laughs> like this is like they, they do. You're talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands yeah. of deaths and suicides and poverty. You know, yeah. like you're gonna ruin people. So yes, the, we're we're part of this hideous machine now. That's cool. I just like the idea that it is like they're literally taking people's brains and just like fucking suturing them into this. Like again, it would like she finds the head of yeah. IT and it's literally like it's this, literally a head. It's a head with just like it's the, like with just this beehive of brains stitched. Well, you have to that it. cheesy shot, but it'd be like she comes down to talk to IT. And she's like, hello, anybody here? And then, like, he's, like, suturing something from behind. Like, you can't see what he's suturing. He's like, oh, excuse me? You're not supposed to be here. And she's like, oh, I just need to talk to somebody. He's like, okay, one second. And then he just steps away, and the camera pans over to what he was doing. He was, like, suturing a human brain into a computer. Like, what the fuck is going on? But I like the idea that it's, like, yeah, almost like this. It's a server that has, like, these brain growths on it. Like, it's, like, tumors or something that are just, like, patchworked in. Like, it's this hideous man machine kind of thing. Okay. And we, by the way, we're just over 30 minutes in, folks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. okay. I'm trying to figure out, like, who the bad guy is exactly. It starts to get away from a little bit the idea of, like, how they can fuck with your lives. So well, I mean, that's, that's your fun in games. Like, that's your... Because yeah. at first, it's, it's almost a detective story with the HR person as yeah, the Yeah, yeah, no, I like right? this as the third. It starts with something innocuous, like, you know, like, the, you know, like they dig up something. It's just them pulling on a thread, getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah. And yes, it starts with, like, the IT system is fucking with her, but then it's, like, some weird shit is going on. Like, that isn't just, like, ooh, they, you know, yeah. fucking got into your smart car and lock the doors or whatever you know and like we're that's also- fun by the way them hacking her car she goes in the parking structure oh that's a fun like she goes in the parking lot and then she like buckles her seat belt and then it's backing up and then also like it keeps backing up she's like wait what's going on and she stops and then the car's moving and it's like flying down the parking structure at, like 80 miles per hour and she's like screaming or you do it she's in the parking lot and then there's like this self-driving car just like rounds the corner and looks at her <laughs> and she's like what and then it's following her and then like there's another one and then you do the sequence <laughs> then where all the to- cars are just driving they're just her. fucking trying to kill her why are they fucking with her well it's about the transgression that she makes in the beginning right? yeah yeah so that's the so okay oh you know what it could be so just something that popped my head again like not to get into the dumb corporate sort of back and forth but like let's say there's like a brain drain of the company there's like these good people that keep like getting snatched up by these better offers somewhere so that they're voluntarily leaving so that's why she's getting intersecting with them because she's doing these exit interviews with these guys and why this is they're going to something that so that they can get relocated and disappeared into the machine right they're the exit interviews exit cool. interview so, so then so then the point is so she what she does is like there's a guy and she convinces him it's like you know what actually it's still better here and he's like you know what you're right i think i will stay here but because of that she's deprived these it guys she needs to have a sin. She That's needs true. to like. Oh, so, well, so, okay. so we really should kind of just say, yeah, yes, go can, ahead. can they instead of a corporate retreat, can they all join the think tank and then it's a giant tank full of brains? <laughs> <laughs> think tank. <laughs> Oh, you're boy. smart enough and you're going to have an employee that you get to go off and, you know, do your own company. And then you're just part of the think tank that helps, you know, 
big the combinator. Strategy. And then it's this literally this <laughs> giant combining because your the consciousness. gross thing is going to be at one point she can fall into the think tank and oh, she's in this God. big pool of brains as she's trying to it's swim like swim out. It's Akira. It's like yeah. when he's the, that blob monster is fucking yeah. taking it. So here is my thought on that okay. too is that uh, I read this book uh, when I was doing re- research for Dimension 404 called mm-hmm. Superintelligence by Nick Bostrom. Oh, yeah, yeah. And in the book, he talks about different types of AI and like what they do. And there's two kind of thoughts on like you, there's like these sort of like deep learning AI that just absorbs knowledge yeah. at a shocking rate, right? And it knows and understands everything. But then there's another type of AI that's a social AI that learns fra- this is him postulating about speculative stuff but there's yeah, all this yeah. stuff like you know f- computers being able to read human emotions and understand humans and being able to manipulate humans so just give me a second yeah, yeah. but the idea would be she is a people person that's her gift she's a brilliant empath yeah. she is again like you said the therapist right what the machine wants from her is her ability to manipulate people like that's what it is, you know. Like in a sort of sense, so like if, gonna... if she was to merge with the machine, now you've got this hideous deep, blo- the deep thinking blob monster that can also like just cold. It it gives it this extra level of power, so to speak. Yeah, no, this solves a few things for me because I was I was trying to think like what's the because the thing like a Walmart or like a credit card company was like ooh yeah. Or Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. It should be Netflix. Um, uh, oh, that's all right, true. Well, we'll yes, get Netflix it's 100%. Shows, so it's Netflix. It's this one- is how they come up with the perfect shows. This is how they know that everybody wants to watch another season of Daredevil. Because uh, they have a million <laughs> They have a million brain. Hideous brains. brain machine. Um, okay. Let's do Amazon, just because we may want to work with Netflix at some point. Oh, okay. should we want to work with Amazon, too? Unnamed social streaming. Called n- Amazon. Yeah, guys, I mean, we're really fucking speaking truth to power right now. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Jeff Bezos is listening to this, shaking and his throwing fist. a you know wad of money at the wall. <laughs> Destroy them! His Newton's cradle explodes against his marble floor. We've got a s- sort of idea for our our big bad, and then again, I think you have the IT guys as essentially sort of tech cultists, which I think is kind of fun that they all yeah, worship they're, this they're, thing. Their main job um, is to again keep the machine. For them, working. their goal in life, like if you were to do, there's a zealot right who's hunting her, and his job yeah. is to kill. His goal is he wants to donate his brain to the consciousness. Mm-hmm. Like, he wants to merge with it, but he needs to prove he's worthy, essentially. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? By, like, taking care of this HR problem. Let's uh, let's let's dig in a little bit. So let's talk about this main, main character. character. So human relations, I do think that's a fun... HR is fun. Again. It does feel like the antithetical sort of department in a weird way, right? Yes, exactly. ITHR, like, I like that kind of... Again, I think it works, too. It's like, is she new? Is she relatively new? Is she looking for yeah, a promotion? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah, the yeah, change? Yeah. What's the... Looking, um, looking for a promotion feels like, you know, yeah, go with that. I know even less about HR than I do about <laughs> IT. Um, so that might be a speed bump in a second here, but yeah, um, I never dealt can, with Can HR we flip the Disney. gender politics and have it be a dude in HR? And yeah, then like, I, I would. And then I would do that characters. it's the, the, the female, that you would also do like, it's like, like Shodan or GLaDOS, like uh-huh. I would do. It was this woman who was their tech genius back in the well, 70s. Back in the day, right? You had a lot of yeah. female programmers. So she, these. again, and she wrote this code and went insane writing it, and then it's her brain is the thing that's like, you know, like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 in yeah. four trends. Man. Yeah, yeah. Four tech guys laughed at that one. It's a very convoluted program. I, I yeah. get it, Freddie. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. I made a, I made a, I made a tech funny. Um, that's what I'm here for, guys. Okay. I mean, I, the only thing I have is like, again, I, I, I'm kind of attached to that scene just because I'm just thinking about which I'm, scene. I'm just hanging on to the like. I can understand the come like third, fourth day at work, and there's a big, and she's meeting ev- or he's meeting everybody, and you're mm-hmm. getting this kind of like overwhelming, especially HR. Like you want to know everybody, you want to know all the dynamics like who's so like a new hire who, huh like a new hire like a new hire who doesn't know like the sort of tribal politics so to speak makes sense right yeah i mean i feel like i feel like to. coming in and then this business that you're now working for is, uh, is something is a, hidden underneath yeah, that is more interesting than like yeah, yeah. then they've been Career there for man. a long yeah, time yeah, and they yeah. somehow yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. know no i agree I okay agree. so um, especially if what you want to do again like an I, act one being an hr complaint Right, yeah. and it's not their first one, but it's one of their first HR. Yeah. They've been here, you know. They're settling in. They're still new. They're still getting the lay of the land. Again, also, especially because you're, you want to take the old character through the biggest journey possible. So, considering this is going to end with them discovering the gnarly, dark ass truth about this yeah. place, starting with the like 
idealistic, I, I am a newcomer, makes sense. Yeah. That's the biggest journey. Yeah. There's an interaction in an office party. Yeah. And someone makes a joke. And it's one of those things where it's either like racially or sexism me, not cool, right? But yeah. it's someone who d- is a well intentioned person who just didn't understand, right? As we and all it, know, sexism me is not cool. Yeah. Sexism me <laughs> and racism me are not cool. It's someone who, again, they, they have a problematic worldview and they're kind of out of touch and they fuck up and they say something dumb, yeah. right? And this person is now in charge of the decision of this, like, again, like, it's like, hey, this person took offense to this thing you said, and now they're just making yeah. it worse, just saying the wrong thing. And it's like one of those, like, it's do you, uh, okay. do you write them up? Do you, do they might get fired? This is like their fourth yeah. strike or something like that. So and it's an IT guy. It's someone in yeah, IT. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like you're, I mean, look, like, we're, this is going to be a broad stroke brush for IT guys, but I guess it's better than, sorry, IT I guys. I guess it's better than doing it for gypsies. <laughs> Drive me to hell. So, <laughs> sorry, IT guys, we, we're one of you. Um, but it would be something like, she's trying to learn all these people, right? She's got like all the hot shots, all the VPs, all the directors, all the, you know, this is the best worker. It's like, ooh, like this person is like in on all the gossip. Like, you know, if you have a, if you have a problem, like inter, you know, like an interrelationship problem, like talk, like this person may have a good shot, whatever it is. And then it's like these this like creepy looking dude just comes up and like walks through the crowd without saying anything and just takes a piece of cake and is like walking. And again, her like him being new is like I'm gonna introduce myself. Mm-hmm. Like who is this kind of like awkward, strange dude? And that's kind of like your first introduction of this kind of like and again, maybe it's like he's kind of rude or blunt or walking away and he's like, Okay, like what's and again I I feel like the part of the thing is like if this HR person's like it should be this harmonious cult like uh, corporate culture, it could be like, Hey, you know, like we should get the IT guys up here more. Maybe they could be a little more friendly. And like that's almost oh. like a thing they bring up. Like like they bring him in. And it's like, yeah, is there a problem? Has there been complaints? Like, no, I was just, you know, just wondering what's up with you. <laughs> is everything okay? Is there a problem? Is there anything about your superiors that's making things unhappy for you? And it's mm-hmm. like almost like just get out of my fucking business. It's, almost, it's like I like the well like intentioned outsider mm-hmm. in the sense yeah. that it would be like, yeah, it would be and like. They, Okay. Any, any tech guy can tell you that like that kind of interruption is a big problem for them. It's like a lot of times it's like you need to just leave this, leave them alone because the work that they're doing is like it should not be interrupted in that way because mm-hmm. it just hurts there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave me alone. I'm I'm just a grumpy dude. <laughs> Alone. But like I could imagine like this, I, I want something more than I want like a more of a sin to kind of throw him sure, into the sure. story. But right, it could be as simple as like there's a big barbecue and it's like why aren't the IT guys and they come down and they're all like you know fucking okay. brains or something. <laughs> it's like what's going on? Okay, bear with me. Yeah. You Man- mandatory retreat. The sorry, person I- goes down to the IT room. Yeah. Okay. I'm so I'm I'm sorry in advance to people that work in IT. Like ah, uh, it would be they go <laughs> Don't down. Don't worry, the, they can't they can't hear this podcast over the <laughs> war of the servers. Anyway. I remember <laughs> reading this thing about Ion Storm. Like uh-huh. when 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 John Romero oh, and John Carmack yeah, yeah. had their big split. No, Matt, the storm. Well, I was. <laughs> when John Romero, we only have so much time to figure out this story. When John Romero and John Carmack had their big split. Uh, they basically made two companies that were basically just reflections of their individual personalities. So yeah. it became this miserable, dystopian, <laughs> you know, sort of bureaucrat, not bureaucratic, but like just this dark, dank hellhole to work at. Yeah. And then, I don't know if that's true or not, uh, I read Masters <laughs> of Doom forever ago. Ion Storm, like, like, yeah, we're going to have this cool office up on this skyscraper with this beautiful view of the city. And they yeah. had these huge bay windows. And this building cost a fortune. And then they, he moved his company up there. And all the co- programmers like, we fucking hate this. We can't. There's so much glare on our screens. <laughs> and then they literally, like, would have, like, you would have these beautiful windows. And then these programmers with just, like, their hoods, hoods over their computer just <laughs> sequestered in darkness, right? So I could see an outsider, like, she goes, she or he goes down to IT. Yeah. Their office seems awful. There's no light. There's no whatever, yeah. right? And she's uh, like, God, we just keep these people in the basement. We don't understand them. And then arrogance, right? Like, I know I know people. I they know see whatever. a new problem. Yeah, they, they see what, a new problem. They want to fix it. That's one of the biggest it. problems you have in all, co- in all companies. It's like, I mean, if you're in... Okay, so you do... Yeah. So again, like, again, she, you have this character that she meets in IT. And then you do, like... So she comes in or he comes in. Your IT... Your uh, HR person comes in and they're like... Let's open up. Let's let's get a window in here at least. Yeah. Let's get like or let's get some, some music air. in there, some air or whatever, right? And then they disrupt the balance, right? And now this air conditioner is rattling, and none of the guys can focus on their code, and they're yeah. so pissed. And then you would do one of them. Now again, it's like now the the they're sort of like their status quo has been agitated, yeah. and then one of them 
comes up to complain about it, not with her, but with someone else, like with the boss or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They get into an argument and they mouth off and say something really sexist. Yeah. And or you know they say something like the out over the line. Yeah. And now I gotta fire this person. Yeah. And it's the same person that I was trying to reach out to with the cake. Yeah. Right. And it's like, dude, I'm sorry, you gotta go. And it's like this is the, and then the, the and then now it's like you've now complete and this is like a really talented person in the IT department and it's like you have totally disrupted their shit they're tr- they're in the middle of crunch mode trying to get the next big update out which is of course the think tank taking over the world yeah and now they're like this person's got it like or i don't know i don't know no 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 i like so it's yeah. it's yeah because what you essentially have is like i mean having our own you know minor experience of trying to run a company like the idea of this person coming in and being like you know what these these IT guys they just need to be more involved in the corporate culture like they they're I think you know they look sad and grumpy I think I could help them you know they should be mandatory you know coming yeah, to the barbecue yeah. and stuff like that and you saw that shit all the time at Disney where it's like it's oh, like fun sure, day Friday sure. and then it's like wait it's mandatory, mandatory and also you don't want to go you're like fuck that I have work to do yeah and then everybody's there just grumpy like being like why are we at this barbecue like because the moment I get back I'm gonna be yelled at for like why haven't I finished my shit yet or whatever so again, oh, it's like, you do the yeah, it's the kickball game. Yeah, and it's like she basically forces it to join the kickball. Oh, game. and then here's how you and make then someone gets kicked in the face. I would do the the, the freaking like jockey dudes like make the, fun of the it guy in sales. Yeah, he like you know the person like misses a kick or like eats shit. Like yeah. you know they do the thing where they try to kick the kickball, but you like step on it and you yeah, just yeah, like yeah. flip forward and no, hit your face. Never, never have had that happen to me. I've seen it. Okay. Um, I've never. It's never happened to me either, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally good at kickball. Um, yeah. Anyway, so but yeah, it's like yeah, it's like they get made fun of, and of course it's mi- like it, it backfired for him. The IT guys are like, please just leave us alone. And this was just like, no, I made it worse. I got to make it even better this time. Like, no, we should do an IT guy appreciation. Like you know, like every time, like you know, somebody. Like, I think just, I don't think you I need two. I think yeah, you yeah, do yeah, one, thinking, and then an incident happens at the game. Yeah, and then she has to fire the IT guy. Yes, I like you know that. I mean? Like there, yeah, or he has to fire yeah, the IT guy. His guys. person's yeah. his solution to them causes some yeah problem where yes the person says like a racial slur or something sexist or yeah or you know whatever you know like there's a pregnant lady there and he says something and yeah like of course he there's punches a complaint. somebody or whatever yeah. yeah i like that it's something like for what a lot of people would think as like oh just let him like get over it whatever he said like he said you look fat to a pregnant lady and it's like that's it's a complaint it's a problem it's a big company it's you like, have a couple of strikes against you, you already, already for yeah it's like, i'm sorry yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. we either have to demote you or you're fired or whatever it is mm-hmm. so then when shit starts happening He's like, it's got to be this guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, or it's the IT department getting but, payback for that guy. Well, of course, yeah. that's what it ends up being. It would be like, it's actually not him. In fact, you would do like, he can't find him. And it's because he's already been added to the think tank. It's like, you don't leave IT. If you get fired. In fact, that's why he's terrified. He's like, you can't fire me. <laughs> Please don't fire me. Nobody leaves the IT department. She doesn't, he doesn't realize that when he get fired, he, he wants to go apologize. Like one stuff's like, you know, this like email gets leaked around. So he like literally looks up the address and goes to find him, and there's just nothing in his apartment. He's gone. He's like, where did this guy go that I fired? Oh, I mean, if you were to do that, it would – okay. <laughs> uh, this is so – like, this is such a fucking family guy joke. But you would do that he is forced to go to sensitivity training. Uh-huh. Like, and there's like a uh, sensitivity retreat. Again, because I like the idea that her boss at HR is in yeah. on this or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you can't make me go to that or what. I don't know. It's kind of dorky, though. I, Why not sensitivity training? She gets, he gets fired. Yeah. If you work in IT, you know the think tank. You know all the secrets. You're part of that group. Yeah, they can't just yeah, yeah, let yeah, you yeah. into the wild, So man. the solution is when no, you get fired No, but I guess my, IT, question, my question was, do you do that? It's just a question of his alliance. Is this she upset someone who is in on it and is zealot, or is she, uh, it, you know, like what is the relationship between these IT guys and the think tank? How are we doing on time, Freddie? We have about fifteen minutes. I think they they months. support, they believe in the think tank, and this is like a cult. In fact, I wouldn't even do like the, the right the 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 scary turn so would then, be like yes, but what I'm saying is that if they believe in it, then I, he wouldn't be screaming. You're no, right. I, don't, I was about yeah, to yeah, change yeah, my yeah. mind, saying like yeah, he yeah. wouldn't be like that. In fact, yeah. the scary turn she'd be like, oh my god, somebody killed him. Like the, the scary turn would be like, no, he did it willingly. Like. <laughs> Like, like when you get fired, it's like, well, I guess like I'm I'm becoming part of the think tank now. Like I can't I can't oh I don't know, that's not that exciting. It would no, it would more likely it would be like this person's like my life has no meaning anymore. I'm separated from the, t- yeah. the think tank, right? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. he kills it's himself like, or something. He kills it would be that he kills himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh and then it's like, oh shit, like And then bad shit and then starts now, happening. And now all of a sudden bad stuff starts happening to her, right? And it's again like, you know, the uh um Oh well the the turn like she oh, would you be like cool. this guy's messed with me. It's this like I didn't send that email or that whatever that sexist picture or that yeah, naked and picture. Yeah, and he he's been dead. Exactly. She's well, like, no, it's this and guy, then, and then the reveal is he killed himself. Well, you would do, oh, I was going to say, or you do that it's he killed himself, 
but then you do his body is gone. Yeah, I was you know gonna I mean? say, say there's like no brain. There. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> like, no no yeah the body is gone. So then and then it gets you to that supernatural place like the like I know he's dead. What happened to him? Like you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like that kind of thing. And then it's like they you once know, it's he fun. They, oh, oh, his okay, brethren okay, okay. took his body and put it in the think tank. This is dumb. I was gonna say okay, this is maybe dumb. I have no idea if this even works. But like if the think tank is this like supercomputer, like only the best brains go into it, right? Mm-hmm. You would do that. This IT guy does have a really good friend in the IT department. Like, they're best friends. Mm-hmm. Like, it's kind of a sweet story. And this guy gets fired, and he kills himself. And the friend can't let him go. So he takes his body, and he puts his brain into the think tank. But this guy's brain has no business being in the think tank. This IT guy was fucking, he was kind of, and it screws up, like, the IT, the And think now tank. that part of him wants revenge yes. on her. So, like, his, so a friend's inability to mourn his IT guy who got fired mm-hmm. and killed himself. He digs up the body and puts his brain in the think tank, hoping, like, at least some of my friend will still live. Be alive, yeah. But it's like, but now he's, he's, he's this kid screwed up the system. Now this fucking supercomputer has this angry 19-year-old Vengeful. Sorry, Gamergate is shitty brain. So I got mad at us for saying Gamergate, but guess what? He's president. So like, you have this like, you have this brain. brilliant, yes, articulate, cutting edge <laughs> political commentary from Matt. But the, the point being is, it's not gone. But that sort of toxic mass. Like again, it's just like, just like this. This it's, bitter brain, this angry brain, this bad. This, this and it's this part that wants revenge. Her revenge exactly yes. over this guy who again caused him getting fired. Even mm-hmm. though it was his fault for saying something horrible fun, yeah, again, in the first place. What's right? fun about that is that you do for a while. She's like, I know he's fucking with me. He's using his name on this that says that I got a home loan and stuff. And then she, yeah. she, so she's digging into it. And like, and what's fun about this is that this is one where it's like the police ain't going to help you, right? Like none of the institutions that yeah. would help you. Nobody gives a shit about this kind of crime right now anyway. But I like that there's a sympathy behind the monster where it's yeah, like this yeah, yeah. kid. Again, it's like he couldn't deal with. And then again, this IT guy's like, she's like, you know about the thing? He's like, yeah, this is how the businesses run. Like there's this, uh, there's this computer. How do you think it, it works? So who's this other person? Uh, it was just another IT guy. Okay, there's um, multiple IT. Or he, I mean, like it also kind of works if he just willingly puts himself into it too, and then he's a vengeful, you know. You want like a betrayal because it's like a solution. She would eventually go talk to the friend, and she's trying to figure it out. I mean, it depends. Okay, so like, what? Who's coming after her? Like, is it the computer? Is it a, just a group of IT cult guys? Like. That's the, yeah, I mean, I get all that. And, and I see what the... Yeah, yes. and if it is, like, the computer, then you want, like, what's the origin? Like, why is the IT department, like, suddenly going after this person? Mm-hmm. Um, again, it's like this, right? It's like this... I don't even know what that Simpsons is based off of, but, like, the hair of the murderer, you know, in the uh, Treehouse of Horror, which is based off of something where it's, like, Homer gets the hair, but it's got the murderer brain in it, so it goes bad. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. so just to, just because we're, we're running out we're of time. We're about five minutes out. Five all right, out. so in your first act, we introduce our main character. Okay, so she or he, <laughs> let's let's just say she, because we keep going back to she, and fuck it, whatever, fine. Um, HR lady, well-intentioned HR, uh, no, fuck, it's a guy, god yeah. damn it. Fuck, HR dude. HR, well-intentioned Silicon Valley Danny. HR dude, Danny. Our, 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 yeah. our, our IT guy, Danny, is now the a- HR dude at the center of the story. Danny comes to uh, this new this Equifax company or whatever this this institution, right? This huge corporation. He's like, I'm going to shake things up. I'm going to you know, like the, I'm going to revive this musty old culture and I'm going to turn this place into a little corporate utopia. When he right? sees a problem, and, and then so he's introduced and he realizes, wow, everyone here is really fucking weird to the IT people. The IT people are this like you know sort of like they you know like they have this they seem miserable. Room. They seem miserable. Everyone acts like they're not there. And what he doesn't understand is people act like they're not there because they're fucking terrified of IT. That's <laughs> yeah. why they try to ignore them, right? And and he wants to be left alone. And people have heard rumors. People have heard weird rumors about Mm -hmm. the shit that goes down on there, and they want nothing to do with it. Danny's like, that's just a bunch of superstitious hocus pocus, right? (laughs) So he wants to, you know, sort of entreat them. He invites them to the kickball game. When they don't come, he kind of strong arms them into coming because it'll be good for them. Um, He makes them mandatory. I think, okay, here's what you could do. Here's what you could do. Because I like the idea of a... a, 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 uh, this third person, this, you know, sort of, like, nice IT person, right? Yeah. That would be, like, the sort of leader of IT, or, like, you know, like, the, his sort of, like, counterpart in IT, right? Mm-hmm. And he convinces his counterpart to get them to come to the kickball game. Yeah. Horrible shit goes down at the kickball game. This this loose cannon kid mouths off to somebody and says something really gross, and then they've got to axe this kid, yeah. right? And everyone fucking blames uh, Danny for screwing all of this yeah. up. And then the kid kills himself, and now Danny is being fucked with. 
and you know he's been applying. He's been trying to against the classic like uh, is trying to you know get a buy a house to settle down with his girlfriend to settle settle down with his yeah. wife. They just moved to a new city. They're in a shitty apartment. They've been house hunting, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden his credit is tanked. It's like what the right, fuck? Right, right. And like you know like his uh, his wife is finding incriminating text messages, yeah. and you know She's getting ready to leave him. And, and yeah, so like his life is getting ruined, and he's like, what the hell is going on? I got to figure out what's what, what's happening. Yeah. And he's like, this is it getting revenge on me, yeah. and. That is essentially that would take you through your first two acts, right? I feel like, yeah, and your third act shenanigans. Like the middle part of it is a lot of that. Well, the, the end building of one, mystery. And what the, I was gonna say is like act two, like end of act one is the this incident at the kickball game. Yes, act two is he fires this person and now he's being fucked with. Mm -hmm. And act three is who is fucking with me. Right, right. 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 So that investigation and like you're playing this, but you get this, you know, the scene where like the car is trying to kill him. You know, like you know, sort of like digging into like who the fuck are these guys in IT and like you know people are trying to shut off his investigation essentially, and he's discovering these darker and darker. He's what he's essentially what he's essentially learning is the origin story of the monster. Right, this woman who went insane when yes. she created this I mean, code back say, in the seventies. Not a, I would say that I know for a horror movie, it's like him firing the guy is the end of Act One. Like it's, you're not like that's the that's the beginning. Act Two would be weird shits happening to yeah. him. Act Three needs to be like an esque like somebody needs to die. Um, in this, somehow. in terms of the goal of the character, the start of your third act is he is investigating what's going on. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's investigating, and like the end of his investigation. Or not the end, but, like, his investigation would lead to somebody's death. Like, it needs to, like, it would be, like, again, like, the cars are chasing him or he goes somewhere and, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say. No, what's uh, that? What's the what's the movie where death comes back and kills you? Fatal track uh, Not Fatal Attraction. Final, Final Destination. Final Destination. Yeah, yeah. Like, again, like, almost like an act. Like, again, not something he's going to be accused of for murder, but he goes too far and, like, again, some crazy accident happens. <laughs> like, he's responsible for people's deaths or something. I don't know. Sure. I think um, end of Act Three would got be a minute left. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. End of Act Three would be the investigation comes to a close, or something happens. The the command, the, essentially the same thing that happened to again. It's the the end of Act Three is the main character getting sent to be part of the think tank or fired. Just hold yeah, yeah. on. You would do that. Essentially, this is their whatever. The, I can't just be fired because you want them to get pulled deeper and deeper into the mystery. If they get fired, they're just out there, right? No, if they get fired, their desperation and their insanity and their inability to let it go means even though they should let, they're gone and their life's ruined. They go back into the, they go back into back the fucking hell. dungeon as opposed to. I don't like they just get forced. Well, I mean, we only have one minute left, but like it's just like. A horror movie is just like it, it it's needs to be their, their sin, their problem. If they're, if they're just sent there, then it's like cool. They're just sent there, and they it's an action movie. They're just sent there, and they have to solve the problem. As opposed to they don't let it go. Whatever is the problem. Again, in the same way they couldn't but let it go okay. in Act One, they can't let it go at the end of it. Like and they're, then that's, okay. Can I throw something yeah. out there? You do it's a fake out where it's like you did such a good job wrapping this all up with a nice tidy bow, and then you would do like at the end of Act Three, it's like the other. You would do the twist is yeah. at the end of all of this, she's like, aha, it was you, nice IT guy who I liked and who was helping me. Mm -hmm. You were the one who murdered. You know, like, this was murder. It wasn't suicide. Now you've been fucking with me because you had a crush on me mm -hmm. or whatever, right? And then she said, that guy gets shit canned or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, good job. You nailed it. You're going to get to go to this exclusive think tank retreat. Do you know what I mean? And it would be like, she's essentially bumbles into the, the next, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be like at the. It's like you don't solve like in the, drag me to hell. You don't like they don't like solve it. it yeah, it's she just, does. She put, she puts the the button on the gypsy. There's the what, what is it? She yeah, she has a halfway like yeah. She, she goes. Has a fake she out figures solve. it all out and then figures out she's got to give the button back to the gypsy and she digs up the gypsy's corpse and she gives it to her. Is that the very very end you're talking about? No, that's, that's like that's close no, to the but end, but yeah. that's your but that's your horror movie like think you solve it. It's like the right before the ring sequence. I guess it's right? a little, like in the any, ring. All right, at any rate, at any rate, I feel like it's. Uh, we're out of time. Ah, <laughs> God damn it! Ah. That's close. That's an idea there. We don't. I don't think we ever. To the point that we're still. Fuck. To the point that we're still saying she at the end. I don't think we quite got the uh, main character. To, to drop to so for to try to summarize what we did, or at least my version of it. You <laughs> essentially have this well tension. Uh, Danny from HR comes to this new company, tries to see everybody, trying to learn all the problems, trying to, you know, again, make his place. And then he finds he wants to find something to 
make his own way at this company. He wants to prove he's mm-hmm. well, he's a worthy hire. He's a worthy mm-hmm. hire. And he sees the IT guys seem awkward. They seem out of place. People don't respect them. And he's like, here's a problem that I can f- solve with HR. Mm-hmm. And he tries to cheer them up. He tries to put windows in their place. They don't like it. He's finally, he talks to, I'll call him Benny. The mm-hmm. nice IT guy is like, hey, look, I'm going to do a kickball game. You guys are coming. We need to get you better ingratiated with the rest of the company. You're part of this company. You're important, too. We love you guys. Here's IT appreciation badges. They come up to kickball. Um, one of the guys, we'll call him Freddy, uh, Freddy uh, falls in kickball. Somebody makes fun of him. He screams a racial slur, says something really mean. Now Danny's got to fire them. Little do they know that Freddy was beloved in IT. Act two's weird shit starts happening to Danny as he's trying to make his way in his company, as he's trying to prove he did a good job. One, the kickball game didn't go well. He had to fire somebody. And now incriminating emails, et cetera, et cetera. His, like, his life is going downhill. He's like, who is this? It's got to be Danny. It's got to be Freddie did it. Reveal Freddie actually killed himself. So who's actually doing this? Act three is the invest- more of the investigation. Like he's choosing. Like if Danny's, if Freddie's dead and this is still happening to me, we have to solve it. Act three is kind of where we get stuck more or less. But I would say it goes along the lines of shit gets more and more escalated to the point where they essentially lose everything. Their wife leaves them. They maybe have – they even maybe even solved it where it's like the the IT department was doing it. It's like it doesn't matter. The, the, you're, you became the monster as you were trying to solve it. You're, you're leaving this company. It's too late. Um, and Act 5 would be, again, him like, I'm not going to let this go. i got to figure out what actually happened. And they go into the belly of the beast. He breaks back in, even though he's fired. So to I'm gonna, to I got to, all right, I, I got to push on this. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think you the turn to me, especially if there's this hideous brain vat yeah, yeah. that is fucking running, you have to, to me, it would be like, I figured it out. I'm going to go They fucking, get the reward, essentially. No, no, it's not even an award. But it's, to them, they just, feel like it. I, I figured it out. Yeah. I'm going to go nail... I'm going to fucking blow the whistle on this thing, yeah. and I'm going to restore order. The person you go to restore order to is like, well, no, I'm in on it. Like, this whole fucking... The problem goes way deeper than you expected. Yeah. And they get dragged, kicking, and string, screaming to get thrown into the brain vat. And you know what I mean? And then you have the real dark them. confrontation with this hideous system, essentially. Yeah. And then you have the question of whether you're going to destroy it at the end, or you could help the brain vat by merging with it to be and become a help it become better yes, they right? solve the problem they go to the ceo the ceo is like great you solved it um i'm in on it now you're gonna be part the, of the ceo bag. would be a hollowed out husk yeah that is like actually run by the the, the think tank brain yeah. essentially yeah and so then, i think that is i think that's better yes okay. that's essentially what All you right. would do with it so there you like go that. there you have it <laughs> <laughs> the horror movie classic stephen king's it the horror movie the direct to dvd somewhat there you know it started off pretty strong and then we're not quite sure what happened at the end uh 55 percent on Rotten tomatoes direct to dvd two dollars at walmart that's a whole that's a whole thing they just need a good poster cover and you're all set well uh, i will say this i will say this is a very exciting week uh to bring the mood up here we're a very exciting week over here at rocket ship because we have just by the time you hear this we have just released our first app yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, it is called Chroma Screen, one word, C H R O M A S C R E E N. What does this app do, Freddie? Tell glad, me about I'm glad it. Glad you asked, Will. This is a filmmaking app to solve a problem that we have had ever since Video Game High School Season 1, which is every time you need a shot of somebody looking at their phone or their tablet. Which is more and more these days in our ever-connected 21st century world. Which is like the default shot of like modern filmmaking, by the way. Uh, you us- the, the usual MO is to open up Google Images, and you Google green, and you pull up an image, and then you full screen it, and that's your green screen for the shot. Um, it's annoying because you can't track it. I've definitely spent hours hand tracking those shots. So what this is is Chroma Screen lets you generate a green or a blue screen or uh, uh, any color that you want and puts tracking markers on it and locks the phone and lets you adjust the brands. It's just it's a green screen app that lets you do screen replaces. Uh, for VFX people, all 10 of you listening to us, you're losing your minds right now for everyone else. Um, it can make a pretty green screen on your thing. It's free. It does more than that, <clears throat> Freddie. It also makes a little, when you tap your thumb on it, it makes little X's. That's true. Yeah. You can do you can do tracking so that- indicators for animation, tapping indicators for animation. There's all sorts of cool stuff for all the green screen, blue screen related shots that you If you do. don't get what this app is and why it's cool, you're fucking dumb. I'm going to put that <laughs> out there. I'm not going to apologize for our awesome app and be like, oh, well, if you're an IT, if you're, if you're, if you're a tech nerd, you might like it, but everybody else is just a big... big no, like, get with it. Like, VFX people are the hardest fucking working people in Hollywood. <laughs> they get no goddamn respect whatsoever. And we made this app as a love letter to them to try 
try to save them that modicum of time, having fucked them over so many times on our show when we're like, oh, it's fine, just blow the VFX guy, will paint the boom mic out, oh, it's fine, we'll do this, we'll do that. You'll track it by hand. These guys are hardworking professionals, and anything we can do to lighten the load a little bit by giving them this awesome-ass app that you can put on your phone, throw it on on set, and then people can use it, and it makes their lives easier. We're going to use that. See, that's how well, you sell an app. What was the name of the app again? Chroma Screen, C H R O M A S C R E E N. So it's free for Bug Nine Nine. You get pro features like changing the colors and a few a few other stuff for the more specialized. Uh, well, things. little do people know, actually, Purple Screen is the it's the best new color. green screen. Yeah, 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 green yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. So. Is it really? No. But, you know, sometimes you'll have a shot with, like, a green-skinned <laughs> alien, right? Like, yeah. Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy's got to she's got to use her freaking... She's got to use a, her, her Galaxy Boost Mobile. phone. Yeah. Yeah. Boost Mobile phone. So her Galaxy. Nice, Freddy. Nice. Nice. Anyway, real quick, it's on the, the app, phone. Apple App Store and the uh, Android Store as well. Can we just, anyway, right, thank you everybody for listening. I want to thank everybody who uh, has been uh, giving us very nice uh, iTunes reviews. I have a couple here pulled up. Um, Moip Mobile, uh, Mid Dakota, and a very, very nice one from CZTINU. Moip Mobile said that, uh, was sitting in class when I heard of this podcast, so I started listening to it, but not even 10 minutes in, I was laughing my head off. The whole class looked at me, and it was strange. In conclusion, I re- recommend this podcast 100%. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, writing your reviews and for following rj story break on twitter uh we've been we we, we farm it for uh, uh poster ideas and also uh prompts and and ideas for uh, the podcast as well so hit us up there we obsessively read everything that goes through it so thank you everybody uh on the twitter on the itunes uh if you're again a phone user and are a filmmaker whoever has to run into this problem go ahead and download chroma screen on the apple i store the android i store and uh, that's it anything any last words I like this idea. I wish we could have gotten it. I, I feel like this might be one to come back to. I feel like the, the I think the premise is rich, and I, I yeah. do think that there's like... Well, chime in on the chime in on the forums, discuss at rockjump.com, or hit us up on Twitter. Tell us what shitty writers we are, and we'll talk to you next week, everybody.